。だから、初め先生は書くな書くなって言うけども、やっぱりね、印象に残ったこと書いた方がいいと思いますよ。So, since it's always saying, don't, Joe, you don't have to write it down, but it's like, you know, I think it's important, I think it's important to write it down to be able to pass it on as well. So, you know, I'm going to say, 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 So, involved in that process is, you know, the things that Sinti was telling him at that time and saying at that time and his disciples. So, this is a great slide into what I wanted to talk to you all about, too, is that. We have uh, Nandi Pakistan over here, and uh, actually, and she's actually trained with Sensei um, a long time ago, back in the 2000s, right? Yeah. We meet Sensei, and we were friends. And then one day she shows up at my dojo in Yokohama, and we start talking. And she says, "You know, I remember these stories from Sensei." And she starts talking about these stories, and I was like, "Wow, that's these are amazing stories." So you got to write these down. And she says, "Well, I actually like to draw manga too." And I said, "What?" And and she literally draw. Writing manga about her experiences with Sensei, about not just her experience, but the, the teachings that Sensei w- told her. Like he's, he would tell her, you know, certain things. He'd go home and she and she uh, and she'd write it down. Now she's put it in a manga, and I'm telling you, man, this is stellar kudan. It just gives me goosebumps when we sit there and chat at my dojo a lot. And I said, you got to write this like right now, and so she is. <laughs> So, like a densho, yeah. And mm-hmm. Nook Sen saying it's, this is a densho. And it, it is, because we just showed it to him and he read it and he was like, wow, this is amazing stuff. And I think it's going to be hands down one of the best books in the Bujinkan, to be honest with you, because it's, it's, she has written this down not from her point, not, not from like, a, she didn't arrange his teachings. They're like what he said in manga form. Mm-hmm. And it just gives me goosebumps when I read this stuff, because it's like I was there and I remembered it. I was like, wow. So we're trying to get her right this year. Nook Sen, what are you talking about? What are So, uh, so I, I've been getting on her every week here to draw. She says by by summertime she wants to have the, the Japanese version out, and then hopefully after that I can get the English version out for you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be an <laughs> easy translation, but it's not easy for me. But uh, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome book. Uh, I, I really look forward to you all getting hold, getting hands on it. So, I got those things. So he said, no, he just read it, and he was like, it was amazing too. And I read it, and I'm like, damn. You love it. I'm telling you, it's like, it's it's uncolored, unadulterated, just stories from Sensei. It's really a dance show. In manga form. It's a kudan, it'll be a kudan dance show. Absolutely. I want to show you. I want to show that this is the real deal. In fact, you know, I'm making a video about this to put on my YouTube channel. Uh, I wanted to tell you about it on my YouTube channel, but since it came up here, um, I'm telling you about it here, right? But look for that YouTube video on, uh, where I explain one of the one of the stories coming up this week. Okay, next question, baby. Yes, uh, could Yuichi Sensei explain ideas for conditioning safely the finger strikes from boshi tins to Enigata fingers, stuff like that? Ken, ken no, oh, teo tsuyo kusuru tame. Oh, what is that? 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 What is So Takuma says he Takuma says he would bang his fingers on rocks. He said, but then he would teach people. You know, maybe you could use some sort of like mat, like a like some straw mat to do it on your fingers, right? But of course, because at the end, he, of course, we all, but most people I know, he said, you know, look, don't don't mess your fingers up. You don't have to bang your fingers into rocks and stuff. He says, just use a weapon, right? Use a phone, right? The famous story is when Tom Masa has pipe in his mouth, and he says, he said, you don't have to use your fingers. You should be piping. He's wham, and he stuck the end of the pipe. Like that, like that. That's the kisera, right? That's the kisera right there. And then do it. And if you could also blow the the, the ashes out of the out of the pipe into his face too. So you don't have to like uh, train them, but you have to have the strength in your hands. 